Dear student, today we will start from the article number 9.2 that is the soil profile. In the previous video, I have discussed the introduction of this chapter that is the soil and described some types of soil. So, today only soil profile, it includes the one activity on soil profile, how soil is formed and finally, the this one that is the soil profile in reality, how it looks like A horizon, B horizon, C horizon and bedrock. So, only this small part today we will discuss. So, stay tuned with this video. Don't skip this video. If you skip the video, I have seen uh, in the previous video, we have skipped it. Don't skip it. Watch the full video so that you can understand, you can learn the topic very well and it will be interesting to you. So, now we will start from the today's topic is the soil profile. Soil profile is the vertical sections of the soil when cu cutting through it showing different layers are called soil profile. So, now activity 9.2 so read the activity 9.2 take a little soil break the clumps with your hand to powder it now take a glass tumbler three quarters filled with water okay now this one read it also and then add a handful of soil to it stir it well with a stick to dissolve the soil now let it stand undisturbed for some time fig 9.2 afterwards Observe it and answer the following questions. So, okay. So, this one actually the glass, you have to take one glass. Of, of course, glass made of glass. Okay. You have to take one glass which is made of glass. So, that you can, it will be transparent so that you can watch what is happening inside it. So, first of all, three-fourth of it, that means 75% of it, you have to fill it water. According to the instruction, the NCRT has told, take some clumps, uh, take the solid soil and break it into the powder, break it into the powder. Then mix it with the water very well, stir it very well and let it undisturbed for few minutes. After some time, what will you watch? You will watch that, you will see that if you look through the side sideways of the glass, you can see the different layers of the water are arranged automatically. So, Actually, it is happening due to the, the soil what you have broken into the powders, they contain different sizes of the soil. So, heavy sizes, with the size particles which is larger, it will settle down at the bottom of the glass. And which is lighter, the soil size which is very minute, very small, they will float on the surface of the water. So, in between them, that is from gravel to humus, they are arranged according to their particle size they will be arranged in the particle size that means so here so gravel the size of the particle will be bigger then the top size top at the top of the glass it will be the size of the particle will be, be smaller and in between them it will be heavier less heavier medium size then it will be smaller sized so in this way they will be arranged and some layers will be formed these layers are actually known as the soil profile now, next thing from the question, some questions they have asked, do you see layers of the particles of different sizes in the glass tumbler? Of course, yes. Draw a diagram showing these layers. Draw it. Are there some dead rotting leaves or animals remains floating on the water? Of course, you can see some dead ants or some animals, some plants will be floating on the surface of the water. The rotting dead matter in the soil is called humus. So, it is very important thing. What is humus? So, humus is that. The rotting dead matter. Dead matter means rotting dead matter means it contains the plant parts as well as the animal parts. And it, actually, it will be very helpful for the fertility of the soil, and that is called the humus. Humus are are different colors, but it is very fertile. You probably know that the soil is formed by the breaking down of the rocks. So I will make you understand how soil is formed. So first of all, you know the earth has been formed due to the collisions. And it is a part of the sun. What we call today earth that is a part of the sun. So, it is coming from the sun. So, at the beginning of that journey, it was hot, very hot. It is a gaseous matrix. It is made up of gas. And after years and after years, it loses heat. And then it condensed and come to the solid state. And this was actually the rock. So, first of all, in the very beginning of this journey, the whole earth is made up of rock and you you know after years and after years 
due to the rain due to wind heavy wind due to the temperature difference the rocks breaks down and it makes some sizes medium sizes rock then medium sizes breaks down and gives you a dust particles and different type of salts are formed in this way that is actually we know by which it has formed that is the weathering you probably know that the soil is formed by the breaking down of the rocks by the actions of wind water and climate this process is called weathering the nature of any soil depends upon the rocks from which it has been formed and type of vegetation that grows in it of course so we can we uh, generally we see different type of soils black soil red soil laterite soil so it, these are actually derived from different types of natures of rocks now a vertical section through different layers of the soil is called soil profile i have told you each layer differs in feel texture and of course color depth and chemical composition these layers are referred to as horizons uh, focus on the horizons okay now read this portion we usually see the top surface of the soil not the layers below it if we look at the sides of a recently dug ditch we can see the inner layers of the soil too such a view enables us to observe the soil profile at that place soil profile can also be seen while digging a well or laying the foundation of a building it can also be seen at the sides of a road on a hill or at a steep river bank the uppermost horizon is generally dark in color as it is rich in humus and minerals the humus makes the soil fertile and provides nutrients to growing plants this layer is generally soft porous and can retain more water it is called the top soil or the a horizon okay this one this one actually called the a horizon or the top soil you know uh, you have observed when a tube well is dig you have seen so many types of soils are coming out from the beginning of the work and the end of the work so actually these are the different layers which are formed inside the soil so this is actually the soil profile this one this provides shelter for many living organisms such as worms rodents moles and beetles the roots of small plants are embedded entirely in the top soil the next layer has a lesser amount of humus but more of minerals this layer is generally harder and more compact and is called the b horizon or this the middle one, layer this one b horizon the third layer is the c horizon which is made up of small lumps of rocks with cracks and crevices below below this layer this layer is the bedrock which is hard and difficult to dig with a spade already i have completed the soil profile so upper part which is filled with the humus and this is the a horizon the particle size at this stage is minute or smaller sized and b horizon the particle size will be in between the a horizon and c horizon so when you go deeper into the soil the particle size which will be bigger and it will also be harder so if you go to the bedrock actually it is made up of a hard rock and very difficult to dig with a spade so thank you for watching my video if you find this video is helpful so don't forget to like share and comment on the video and of course don't forget to subscribe my channel for next upcoming videos thank you